Today, we're going to learn how to be the best coach we can be for the authentic sales rep. To do this, we're going to dive into their level of self-promotion as measured by the CTS sales profile, the best personality tool with data especially trained for sales professionals in multiple industries across the world. Think of self-promotion as the need to impress, as the need to leave a favorable impression on others. As this tendency strengthens, so does the need for a person to embellish the truth and at the most extreme in ways that blur what's true or perhaps even possible for the product or service staff to support. The authentic rep, the one with low levels of self-promotion, especially those with high compassion and low levels of assertiveness and independent spirit, tend to think and behave in the opposite direction. This rep doesn't naturally think about marketing. They don't naturally sell just anything, but only those products and services that are best for people. Their emotions and psychological makeup cause them to only advance what they believe in. That's why during their recruitment on onboarding and coaching, they will always look for examples which help them explain why what they sell will help and not harm others. They want to work and perform to avoid criticism. They really seek to stay away from anything that will blow back on them. Yet, it's this innate vulnerability and authentic desire to do well that often wins a customer's trust and that works best in those companies with cultures dedicated to high sales and a great customer experience. In our validation studies, we've seen this trait often lifted up as a top requirement and contributor in top reps selling high dollar products with great brands. As we think about coaching these very authentic reps, here are some of the best things for sales managers and coaches to do to help them achieve outstanding results. Remember that people with low levels of self-promotion are often harder on themselves than you can ever be. That's why they don't do well with abrasive, disagreeable, or low empathic mentors and coaches, of which there are a ton out there. Obviously, these reps do at times need to be redirected or confronted with better following a sales process or with other wrong behaviors. Very direct managers often do this in a way that makes a rep with a low sense of self-promotion and self-regard want to quit and find other employment. This desire to leave increases to higher levels when these reps also have a high level of compassion in their personality. Here's the best way to approach crucial coaching conversations with these very real types. Use a series of open-ended questions like, what happened? What part of the process do you think you could strengthen? And what will you do in the future? You will find that many times their answers will be all that's necessary to redirect their behaviors. Sometimes they will even fall on their swords with your first thoughtful and indirect questions and you will not have to be overly directive. As a matter of fact, you may not realize, but later, they will continue to think over their time with you even late into the night. One more thing, if they do not redirect themselves in their answers to your open-ended questions, and you do have to deliver the message in a kind and direct manner, remember to leave this person and this conversation by telling them how confident you are in them in future situations. That's what they really need. And this will increase their motivation to do so and to perform at even higher and better levels. Now let's turn to the sales process. Some of these reps, especially if their assertiveness and independence scores are moderate or lower, may need help with translating the features of products into benefits for their prospects and customers. They may need help with finishing features to benefit phrases like, this will help you buy, or what this means to you is, and then promoting the product in a very real way with word pictures and factual examples of how certain features provide a return on investment, profit, pride of ownership, or a change in frustration into an easy, anxiety-free situation. Be sure and do feature to benefit training during their onboarding and this will increase their motivation and ability when out with potential customers and clients. Here's one more example of excellent coaching. When you see their levels of self-promotion 
and regard for their status is naturally low, understand that it will be harder for them to bounce back from rejection. This becomes even more difficult for them if their compassion is high as well. So just keep an open door to your reps and be aware that sometimes they will show up to recover from a no or the hard pushbacks they receive from difficult customers. If their ego strength is high enough, they will just need some time with someone whom they know believes in them before they go back out to win more accounts. As we end our time together today, please remember these coaching examples for the more authentic reps you help who often win the hearts of those they sell and serve. Teach them the benefits of the features of your products and services. Make your crucial conversations kind and direct and even indirect in your approach and always make yourself available for the non-judgmental boost they need to get back out in the field after a loss or mistake. Thanks for joining us today. I want you to know that with the valuable information the CTS Sales Profile provides you, you have what it takes to understand the unique strengths and tendencies of your people. You can learn to adapt your training and your coaching to unleash the amazing potential within the reps you lead and even your children at home. Have a great day out in the field and please contact us if we can help you recruit and coach the best.